I love watching the Horny Channel. <laughs> it's Juanita from Manchester. Shut up! Hey! Juanita! Shung. <laughs> we say Shung. Shung! No, Shung! Shung! Today, tonight, this morning, very sad report this is. Um, our church brother, our regular member of our church, evangelist Dexter Dobbs, has been the, um, bamboozled, conned, deceived by a transforming creature. Now, it hasn't happened to me personally, but by seeing exactly what happened to my church brother, I am totally traumatized. I am disgusted. I feel for my brother right now in the sense that right now, that could be traumatizing to a level of mental disturbance. Because if you look at the video, see the level of simulation that was taking place on that stage right there. The level of gyration that was being displayed and to think or to know that that level of gyration was taking place with somebody of the same species. The same gender. Very, very disgusting. That could have led to a situation where somebody get themselves into a serious situation and then they would say Dapper Dan should learn to control himself however the perpetrator of this, this this deception no one will tell them that you should have um restrained or control yourself from deceiving the gentleman it's quite disrespectful i would assume it's quite painful to our church brother to be in a situation where that happened and not just that it happened it's across every screen every phone every tv every laptop in the world at this precise moment there should be a law there is a law against I deceiving you and taking your money. So there is should be a law of you deceiving me and taking my um, trying to take my brain away, some shit like that. Because this is exactly what's happening. Because a gentleman could go mad after this happened to them. You be teased by your friends. Who remember the video with the man just grab the bank and the clip drop out? In a bad man world, that's the worst thing could happen to you. In a gallus world, this is the worst thing could happen to you. Gentlemen, please. If all the men them in the world stop talking to girls that wear wig and makeup, then the possibility of this deception will disintegrate. I shall repeat. If every man in the world stop talking to girls that wear wig, or better yet, if every girl in the world especially the black girls stop wearing wigs and makeup false eyelash false eyebrow and this hypocrisy foundation and contour and sitting 
then this will never happen again the problem will disintegrate no man will be ever no straight man will be ever conned by a transformer again ever in life if our black sisters stop wearing wigs eyelash and makeup the only reason is that transforming human beings look like black girls who have on wigs because black girls who have on wigs they look like trannies I mean transformers talky chute transformers wear wigs black girls wear wigs transformers wear eyelash black girls wear eyelash transformers wear makeup black girls wear makeup transformers look like black girls black girls look like transformers now you might think i'm being disrespectful by saying black girls the only reason why I say black girls because when I see black girls wear wig, black girls wear makeup, and black girls and transformer look a fucking like. I'm not disrespecting by speaking the truth. Do you think I don't like black girls? That is your opinion. It is not so. I don't need to prove anything to you though. I'm just saying, my beautiful black queens and a tranny, you cannot tell the difference between the two of them. Between my beautiful black queen and a tranny, I mean a transformer, a Decepticons. You cannot tell the difference. Talk it truth. You cannot tell the difference between a transformer and a black girl. If you could have tell the truth between a transformer and a black girl, Dexter Dobbs wouldn't have been bamboozled. I just got the video just now from somebody on my YouTube, on my phone. And they slow motion the picture. And one can see the brothers ballatum, vibratum, movementation. A girl glue is not supposed to move. Any direction. Unless she have on one of them fat glue stuff where they normally put in them panties to make them glue look fatter. Because I know a friend, a female friend of mine, she got one of them glue fattener. Never seen it in action, but she grab up the sitting and over this and she got one of them automatic glue fattening stuff. Yeah? So, from what I have seen, and if you analyze the video as well, when, when Dapa grabbed the girl, and she... She put on an ugly look on her face when him lift her up off of the ground. The, the shot from the camera shot from behind like somebody on the stage video. And you could see this really ugly man look on her face like when a, when a man is trying to act like he's a woman. You see that ugly manly dead face look like he's a, that look like he's a old, he's a old killer shooter. When he was a boy he was a shooter. <laughs> this is fucking serious I will try to clip in some of the videos them in between this video to try and make it more animated but yes I'm very traumatized for Dapper Dan yeah very traumatized because if it was any straight human being in that case it would be traumatized for the person anyway so the mean that is dapper than we still traumatize for him because this is could be this won't hold back his career this won't stop anything because we won't think anything less of him it's just the mental trauma of you have to remember that he was daggering with this man that's the thing this not gonna stop him career we're not gonna like him unless because under him or somebody deceive him and we never blame the victim we don't blame victims around here you know what i mean and brothers remember this we defend men over here too you see me so men next time you're having a stage show please vet three girls from that village from that city and only those three girls will be called out of the crowd so this opportunity that girl have 
to run up on stage with them artists, you can't do that again. You have to blame it, gra- it tranny them, it tranny farmer them, it, tr- it art about it, it, whatever. Blame the Autobots. Anytime in the future, if any girl see them artists come to the city yeah, and artists normal or invite a, a girl on stage and all of that stop forevermore, blame your fucking Autobots. <laughs> Blame the other butts. No more girl can jump up on stage and wind up on the body. Cause guess what? The whole of have art about friends. But you don't tell art about to stop the art about. So you don't embrace and I can do an art about his him. Fuck you know now. So if you don't want to entertain art about his him and embrace art about his him and all these things, you are going to get messed up. We ain't going to have nothing for you. They say, yo, your art about lifestyle, we ain't involved in that. We don't want to know. Please get rid of it. We are not interested. You have art about friends. I don't want to know you because you have art about friends and a corruption that you bring art about friends. If me have a child with you, you bring out a bomb buckle like about friend around my picnic. And you have to navigate through that school and watch through a school and then come back a yard and still navigation around art about. No. No fine art about around here, mate. Fuck off. Dapper than, big up yourself. I have a line in a song where say, Dexter Dapper, the principal, and me, the professor. We teach girls how to get them pum pum wetter. <laughs> and if you tight me, stretch it out like a sweater. You know, anyway, thanks for listening to this video. Dapper, big up yourself. Of love and respect when you would. Yeah, when I lose the ratings feel because you was bamboozled. That them people are out there for anything we put on dress, careful of it. I love watching the Horny Channel. <laughs> it's Juanita from Manchester. Get up! Hey! Juanita! <laughs> Show me. <laughs> I say shung. <laughs> shung. No, no, shung. Shung. <laughs>